just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I go wings and tell her goodbye It's not what we see It's what we choose to be I'm absolutely sure that there's paint in this side of the lorry because I put it in there quite sure I put a brush in here as well problem is because we keep moving everything and moving stuff and collecting stuff and going to different um, I don't know DIY stores and oh, random places it means that this it means that this part of the lorry where i usually just keep like feed and just random things like my saddle when i'm traveling with that and but instead it's absolutely full of tools and rubbish but I am quite sure <laughs> there is a smell ah there we go do you remember me saying that I had picked up this big can of fence paint well it looks like I found it um now we just need a brush. I don't in a million years think that's going to do a whole, the whole stable. But you never know. You'll never guess what. It's a bit gross. But I'd say that'll do. Hmm. Well, I've got to paint underneath where the guttering is gonna go so I could do that couldn't I so I've got to do along just the top there I won't be able to do below there because of the big garage door thing that's still stuck there and I can't move that on my own um, but I'll tell you what I might be able to do as well the bit where I've just put that bench. Look, see, I could do that side. I would only have to pull the extremely heavy bench out, wouldn't I? Hmm. Sounds like a plant. Let's see if it's going to work. I'll put you on a tripod so I don't have to keep holding, holding you, and you can watch me paint the gutter in. And then that side of the stable. Doesn't that sound riveting? <sighs> the worst thing is, me and Simon sit of a night and watch programmes like this. We watch YouTube videos like this for absolutely hours. Ugh. There's one that's called DIY Farm. We watch that a lot. There's another one called Chateau Diaries. Oh, I love Chateau Diaries. Um, and then... The one that inspired me in the first place to do this kind of thing was Escape to Rural France. If you haven't already seen that, I think you should check that out. If you like watching things like this, it's brilliant. Yeah, I'll see if I can link those channels to this one. They're like proper YouTube channels, like millions and millions of views and hundreds of thousands of subscribers <laughs> not like us <laughs> but you know everyone starts somewhere don't they and i just love making these videos this weekend i was really surprised 
Um, because I ended up talking to people that I didn't even know and they knew me, which is weird, and they were asking all about Baby Dream and um, and how, how was Toby and how was Hope and, and uh, talking about Simon's drone flying and how they love seeing like aerial views of what we're doing and how beautiful those shots are and I was thinking wow <laughs> hmm. I don't know these people and they know me actually I think that's really cool hmm. for an extrovert that has recently become quite introverted I do I do find that quite nice that I'm still engaging with people even at a time when I don't really feel like engaging with people maybe that's why I like talking to you so much hmm. yeah anyway let's get on with this painting right I've got a stick that is bigger than what I actually need. Shake up this part. There we go. Right. Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that colour. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting that colour. It says Misty Heathland on the on the uh, on the front. See, it's Cooper and all ducks back five year all weather protection for sheds and fences in Misty Heathland. Hmm. Wow. I quite like the idea of a Mr. Heathland. <laughs> ah, let me move. I'll move you so that you can see what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is painting the part where the guttering's gonna go. Oh my word. Very pale. Yeah, it's going on that colour. Hmm. Well, if it's going to protect it, it doesn't really matter what colour it is, does it? Uh, hoping it will darken up a bit. If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm really hoping this is what I'm supposed to be using. Definitely wish I had a wider brush. You know, like professional fence painters use. Just put you at a bit of a better angle.
looking better really can't tell what color it's gonna be I can't see it going the same color as what's on the can you never know though hmm. let me put you in a better angle again done that like I said I can't do below it because I can't move that great big garage door on my own I wish there was some way I had some kind of powered jet wash that I could give it a good blast off before you know good blast with the water to get all the um, what's it called I don't know you know the stuff that just grows all over the wood like a mossy stuff but uh yeah we have to use what we can use and the little jet wash that we've got just wouldn't do that job it's just not powerful enough um so i do like it though i do really like that color so that's where we first started <laughs> right then so i'm gonna make I'm gonna make a start now on the side where we've just put the lovely new bench. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice. Really pleased. <laughs> I never know whether you should start at the top or the bottom of these things. Hmm. to use the bench to stand on. Don't try this at home. black 
square is Hope's itching post. She's destroyed it, of course. She destroys everything. And um, I need to get it off so I can paint behind it and I need to move it somewhere anyway. I've got that off Amazon. It's got really, well, I'll show you. It's got these hard spikes. She's destroyed it though. She destroys everything. She is very heavy handed. Rubbed all the spikes off. I'm gonna see if I can find a screwdriver. Found one. Simon's dad's toolkit was in the back of the lorry. Simon will have to do because he's taller than me but that's it done I'm just hoping that it dries a bit better than it looks now Black and brown, red, black and black. How do you work that in? I don't know, Simon. I don't know anything about electrics. I'm guessing that's supposed to be black, that's supposed to be red. Why have they wired that in backwards? The one that comes from the bottom of the battery box in there. You know the wires that have got goes to those fuses? Yeah. There. Okay. And then we've got this. Yeah, isn't it? Yep. Bodging again. Yep. You do like bodging. Without the right tools again. Who forgot my toolbox? <laughs> If you get your jump leads out the car and connect the red and the black to the red and the black on the battery, I think you might have power. What do you reckon? Will we blow up? If one way to go. <laughs> oh, how pathetic that it was so happy from something so simple. Do they all work? Does that one work? That one doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, that one works as well. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. We've got lights. Simon, we've got lights. What? You read the switches on the. Does it? Oh my gosh, it's on. That's so amazing. Oh, wow. We've got power! Oh, the bulb's gone in that one. What about that one above your head? Yeah? 
one of the bulbs has gone in that one. Oh wow, well done Simon. Such a lovely colour.